Hi everyone, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem, Happy Ramadan, however you guys say it. But um, I hope you guys are having a great Ramadan, um, all of your fasts have been going well, and that you're making the most of this holy month. Um, for me, I think everything's been going well. I've been too hungry, but it's already around the halfway point and I'm obviously thinking about Eid because there's so much to do. There's like obviously your outfit and makeup and I usually do a lot of desserts. So um, just thinking about all the prep for that. But that brings us to this video here where I wanted to share some inspo for a Eid look. Um, I kept it pretty neutral. That way you can pretty much pair it with any outfit. You can always like switch out the liner, switch out the lip to kind of match with whatever outfit you're gonna be wearing. But I feel like this goes with a lot of different stuff. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. And do you see my little penguin over there? Isn't he cute? Um, okay, that's a sidebar, but you are gonna see him throughout the entire video because I completely forgot to move him, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, before we move on to the actual eyeshadow look and then the rest of the face, um, please be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, like the video and leave a comment down below of what your plans are for Eid and what kind of outfit you're wearing, makeup, all of that stuff because I'd love to know. So I did my face completely off of camera. I did my foundation, concealer, powder, what else? Uh, bronzer contour and then I did my eyebrows off camera so if you guys want to see any of that just let me know in the comments and then I'll probably do a whole other video on that um, just because I didn't want to waste any time today on um, on how I do like the whole entire face I just want to keep it on like the eyes and the lips um, so I did also prep my eyelid I used the P. Louise base in rumor um, so yeah the shade of rumor 02 and I just set that with some of my setting powder. And then for today, for the eye look, I'm gonna be using this palette right here. This is the NYX Ultimate Utopia Eyeshadow Palette. And I'll be honest, when I first got this, I was very like skeptical. I was like, it's NYX, it's like a big ass palette, it's not gonna be good. But honestly, these eyeshadows blend so, so well. And I mean, we're not even doing a super crazy look today, but I don't know it I just love this eyeshadow palette because it's amazing um, and then honestly not gonna use a lot of brushes either today just one blending brush this is the morphe r40 brush it's like a, a fluffy brush and I'm gonna keep the eyes pretty light just because I'm gonna do the glitter eyeliner so all I'm gonna do is grab this guy right here, the shade, and then blend it all over my eyelids. Now I'm just gonna use one more color and I'm gonna take this guy right here and only pop it into the corner of my eye. Um, but I'm also just gonna blend it into the entire like eye look in my crease. The last step in this eyeshadow look is I'm taking this like matte peach color or actually I don't know it's like a bone color and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. Because I used just my finger to put the um, bone colored eyeshadow, I'm gonna go back in with that same brush I was using before for the darker browns and just put that color back in just a little bit and blend it out. I'm gonna take some of that same like first color that I used in my crease and I'm gonna put that in the bottom lash line or like beneath my waterline. But now I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes um, Liquid Liner and I'm gonna do a pretty big dramatic winged eyeliner.
Now comes the fun part. I have this glitter from ColourPop. It's their Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter in Wish Me Luck. Technically, they say not to put this on your eyes, but I've been using this on my eyes, and I have a whole bunch of colors that I use on my eyes, and I haven't come across any issues with it. The only thing is, like, when you're taking it off, the glitter gets everywhere. Like, I end up with glitter in my hair. I end up with glitter, like, pretty much everywhere. Um, so that's one annoying thing, but it washes off, so it's fine. But um, this is when you can grab, like, any glitter. I honestly, like do this all the time. I use different glitters, I use different pigments, eyeshadows that I turn into pigments and do like neon liner. Um, but for today I'm doing the glitter because for Eid I feel like why not have a little bit of glitter? And it just, I don't know, it looks really good. And like this shade that I have, um, it looks white but it's actually just like a pretty like reflective type of glitter. I feel like this looks good with any outfit. So I'm going to pick some up on my brush and then very carefully, like where I have the black eyeliner, I'm going to go right on top of that and start placing this glitter down. And honestly, this just takes a while. You just have to be really, really patient and not take too much glitter at once because then you're going to end up with like chunky lines on your eyes. Um, so honestly, just take your time go slow because you could you could always add more glitter but it's hard taking this stuff away because it does go on um and then once it goes on it doesn't want to come off Another good way to do this is just to get yourself a liquid liner, like a glitter liquid liner. I have the Urban Decay ones, but I feel like they're not like thick enough. Like it's just, what do you call it? It's like sparse glitter, whereas this is like just a line of just packed glitter, which is why I'm using this, but up to you. Another thing when you're doing this, you want the glitter at the end to kind of taper off and then on the inside too, you want it to kind of taper off. The thickest should be like um, in the middle of your eye or else it ends up looking kind of chunky and weird. So you can see that's this eye done and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So that is the glitter liner. Now what I'm going to do is if you can see, especially on this eye right here, I kind of messed up. Um, there's some glitter falling into the black eyeliner. So I'm taking the um, eyeliner again and I'm just going to go over it and make sure to cover up all the glitter and just clean it up. You don't really have to do this, but I'm really OCD. Um, so I'm going to do it. Now, I'm gonna do my eyeliner, not my eyeliner, this thing, this, what is it called? Mascara. I'm gonna do my mascara using the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is the, the one that went viral on TikTok. Honestly, it's okay. I don't know, it's not as different from the one that I usually use, which is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, but it's good, it's just terrible to take off, which I guess is a good thing, but yeah. I am gonna put some mascara, put some lashes on, and then I'll be right back to do the blush, highlight, and the lips.
Do you see what a big difference these lashes make? I absolutely love it. It literally took such a boring look and it made it so nice. Um, by the way, I'm using, not that you can see what's in here, uh, cause they're on my eyes, but these are the Lily Lashes, Lashes in Goddess. I absolutely love Goddess and Opulence. Like these two are, they're really light and they're wispy, but they still look really nice without being like super fluffy and like, I'm gonna fly away cause of my lashes. Um, so yeah, that is it for the eyes. Super easy, super quick. And now I'm just gonna have to do my blush and then my lips. You can do highlight. I don't know if I'm gonna do highlight. Maybe I will, just cause why not? But um, first comes blush. So I'm using this KKW Beauty blush palette in classic mattes. And I'm gonna use, I think shade three. And I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm gonna use an oldie but a goodie. This is Gilded Honey. There was a time when everyone and their mom on YouTube was like obsessed with this highlighter. It's a tiny little thing, but it honestly, it doesn't even look like it's, oh my God, amazing. But this stuff is so good. And there's a reason why it was hyped up so much. But I'm just using my finger because I'm too lazy to get a brush dirty. And I'm gonna put it on just my, um, just my cheekbones and then a little bit on my nose. Is that a puff? No. And now for lips. I don't know what I want to do for lips. You can pretty much do anything because these eyes are so neutral and the glitter is also pretty neutral. Um, okay, I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm grabbing this ColourPop Libby pencil in Shot Clock. And I'm going to sharpen it first. And I also like to, um, now that I've lined it, I like to fill them in. I find that if you fill them in with a lip liner, um, it stays on for a lot longer. I'm not going to add a lipstick on top. But I am going to use this Morphe gloss in Frosé. This is like my favorite gloss of all time. Actually, that's a lie. I have a lot of favorite glosses of all time. But I'm going to use this. It needs a little bit of nude in it. It's a little too like pink, pink for me. So I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And this is another like long time favorite of mine. Do you see how pigmented that is? I personally really like glossy lips, but if you don't like glossy lips, just forget about it. Use a matte lipstick. Um, but I like my lips to be very juicy and shiny and glossy. So that's pretty much it for this makeup look. I hope that it helps at least one of you guys out there with at least some inspiration for what you're gonna do for Eid. I feel like it's pretty versatile just because it's a neutral eye, um, a little bit of glitter, and the glitter too is neutral, and you could switch it out for like any color glitter. 
like neon liner, any color liner, pastel liner, like whatever you want to do. And then same thing with the lips, just pair it with something you're comfortable with or something that matches your outfit. Um, and I think it just works perfectly. But yeah, um, obviously this is probably going to go up before Eve. So to anyone who does celebrate Eve, Eve Mubarak. And I'll see you guys next time. Just remember to subscribe down below um, and leave a comment of what you guys want to see next. Um, and that'll help me with pulling together more videos because I know I haven't been the best at it. But hopefully I will be. I think hopefully this time. Because I keep saying I'll get better at it. But maybe now's the time that I actually do get better at it. But I'm going to stop rambling. And yeah. That's it. See you guys next time. Bye.